Here's the Mr. Here's Johnny Clean. Mr. Clean's less successful cousin. <laughs> Johnny Le shaved his head. <laughs> Johnny leans on his seemingly brand new mop and survey surveys the crowd of the union. Hey Johnny, I'm looking for where Cherry took Coyote. The piano is a little out of tune. Check it out. Now we know what he means, but we know what he. But let's talk to this fixer again. See if, see if there's anything he can. I'm still wearing my ninja garb, as you can see. I need to finish this call, perhaps another time. That's not me making fun of him anymore. That's like that. That is one sentence there. <laughs> Gotta love a big bearded dwarf with like a with a with a cyborg eye. And a cell phone. And a cell. I I, I, I I like to imagine how he's got like a little stock ticker on the table just continuously printing out. I don't know why you'd no, be using that in so. I don't know why you'd be using a ticker in 2000 a paper stock ticker in 2050 but <laughs> Set over to the piano. The piano looks like it's been here since the union was built. But doesn't look like anyone has played it in earnest for almost as long. Inspect the piano. Play chopsticks. The piano seems normal until you notice that it is very rigid. Upon further investigation, it's because the piano is bolted to the wall. A close look at the floor reveals skid marks, indicating that the piano slides to the left. Play chopsticks, all right. You're a natural. You should give up shadow running and become a touring pianist. Johnny does not look impressed. Play G A F F C. I wonder if that. I wonder if that's any. If that's like anything significant. I mean, I don't. That's what I'm wondering. I'm trying to think of the tune. As you slowly, I mean, I don't. I don't really know music notes, so. It's as you like da, 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 da. As you slowly peck the notes out on the keyboard, they spark a faint memory of wonder, immediately forgotten as the entire piano slides to the left, revealing a hidden staircase. You descend the, you descend the stairs into the Union safe house. Ah. The entrepreneurial Mrs. Kubota has combined everything a runner might need into a one-shop stop, stop shopping experience. Black market surgery, high-end magical talismans, and a fully stocked cyber surgery dealership. I like the idea. It's not. It's not like a, a, cy a It's not a cyber surgery lab or facility or installation. It's a dealership. <laughs> Imagine some guy in like a checkered coat or something. You know, like, now, what can I? Can I interest you in these mechanical legs? Owned by an old lady. Only took them out to walk on Sundays. Okay. There's some other fellow. It's like they must be watching a game or something. Yeah, whiz go wolves. Yeah, the wolves are some sports team. No bunks available. Let's have a look at these lockers. Okay, now here's your stash. You can carry up to six items at a time, right? Right. The others you can you keep in your stash. And as I believe I said before, if you pick up an item and your inventory is full, you can either have it sent directly to your stash, or you can put it in your inventory and have one of your current inventory items sent to the stash. Right. You can also put weapons and armor you're not using here. Spells, if you know, if you're if you're a magic user, you can only have a limited number of spells equipped at a time. As you go up in magical ability, you you can get more than more slots. You're not always limited to just two spells. But that's your. Does that's your just weapon your... slot change with weapon proficiency? Oh uh, yes, they do. You actually start with only two. Okay. And now notice my my drone is also a weapon slot. Right. And also, if you're a decker, your cyber deck is also a weapon slot. And still, still, still got, go with my ninja clothes. Hi, there's, there's Paco. Stash. Got some nitro, strength and willpower, plus two, charisma, intelligence, minus two. So his charisma would be a mere six. So he'd only be a demigod among men rather than a proper god, I suppose. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay. We're good for now. Let's have a look. Oh, there's the. Uh, let's speak. Oh, there's an arm on that table. I wonder if it's hers. Look at that. Yeah. Doctor uh, Sarah Castle. Uh, at this point, I was hoping. I was hoping the Punisher was their surgeon or something. You notice she has like a <laughs> she has some sort of imp on her shoulder. 
Medicine wow. is practiced. Medicine is a little different in the uh, 2050s. Doctor Jim, yeah. Sarah Castle, make it quick. I need to operate. Thanks for helping me out back there. <laughs> Should I say? Looks like you could use a hand. <laughs> I'm gonna say it. Ouch! Bad joke right now. She looks down at her mangled arm. Uh, Flandry, too soon. Okay, folks. I'm gonna have to ask you to go sit in the waiting area. Watch some Trivid or something. Some lady and I have work to do. Trivid? Uh, it's like, it's like TV, but three, like three-dimensional. No. Three-dimensional. What kind of cyber arm she'd pay for? Yeah, Mr. Twitter never said what kind of cyber arm she'd pay for. I want something badass. Got one with a laser inside? You'll take what I give you, young lady. Now let's have a look at your face. <laughs> Leave it. Excuse me? Coyote. Oh, he's oh there he, oh he's oh there he is over there. Yeah, Paco must love that. Yeah, just leave the giant Co scars. Co Co Coyote, I I have eight charisma. I can't be seen with a woman with half a face. <laughs> that was terrible of me. I'm I earned this face by being stupid. I'm gonna keep it. End story. Whatever you say, kid. With one swift move, she sinks a syringe into Coyote's thigh. Nighty night. Now, the organ harvesting. <laughs> I kid. All right. Talk to Coyote. Coyote looks both better and worse when, than when you last saw her. <laughs> Notice in the character portrait, she's no longer got like blood spattered on her collarbone anymore. That's the important part. Coyote looks both better and worse than you last saw her. All the gaping holes are plugged, and she's sporting a shiny new cyber arm. But now that the adrenaline has worn off, it's clear she needs some rest. Good morning. Thanks to the miracle of modern science, combined with Dr. Doc Castle's magical healing powers, I'm almost good as new. Better. Really. They rebuilt me. They have the technology. <laughs> nice arm. Thanks. Mrs. Computer will have me working it off for the rest of my life. She notices your expression. You look like you've got something on your mind. She flashes you a puzzle. About Sam Watts. Sam Watts? What about him? Sam's dead. Holy dreck, Sam. I can't say I'm surprised. He was on a downward spiral for a long time. What can I tell you? Tell me about tell me about Sam. I heard you liked him. I did. He made me laugh. No one else seemed to like Sam's joke, but I did. Can I ask, did you guys jam? <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible. You should do it. Uh, yes. Whoa! <laughs> oh, I, I, I did, yeah, he's, there's his there's his character model right there. The boyfriend is still here. Paco, you didn't this see him again. <laughs> he, I saw him right there. He he blends in. I don't know. I'm just. <laughs> he's wearing like yellow. I know. And you'd think with his eight eight charisma that he would just, he just shine. Shining. He would like he would shine like the sun. She smiles at Paco. Easy, lover. No, it wasn't like that. We were friends. I guess I knew him the best of everyone here. Sorry, he's gone. You served Sam the night he died. What do you remember about that night? It was a pretty average night. Regular crowd, as I remember. Sam was drinking with a guy named Armitage. You remember him? Yes. Jake Armitage? Yeah, you know him? Met him. He's a charmer, too. She bites your lower lip. I, I like gingers. Anyway... Jake and Sam were having a few... Well, Jake was having a few. Sam was tossing them back, but good. Eventually he got loud, loud, the way he sometimes did when he mixed drinking and who knows what, and Mrs. Kubota wanted him ejected. <laughs> Mr. Clue wasn't around. Can't remember why. I believe they mentioned earlier that he was, like, dealing with, like, a gang fight upstairs or something. So some sort of gang related thing. Can't remember why. So she asked Jake to do the honors. Jake dragged him out the back, into the alley, and that's the last time I saw Sam. He said he got loud. Do you remember what he was saying? She thinks. Standard Sam Dreck. How he grew up rich and didn't deserve this. How he hated his mother. How he loved his mother. It was pretty pathetic stuff. Did Sam have not Remember what they mentioned about his mother? Uh, she died by suicide, she, she, but it she, wasn't suicide. She apparently committed suicide, but our friend, um, uh, you know, Dr. Dresden, the coroner, he, 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 he was not convinced of that. 
explanation. Right. Did Sam have any enemies? She thinks. Enemies? That's hard to say. Sam partied hard, and when he did, he ran his mouth off pretty good. Got his ass kicked on more than one occasion. But no, I don't think he had any enemies. At least, at least none that I'm aware of. Where did Sam live? On the streets, mostly. He'd occasionally convince someone to let him flop on their couch, but he'd always overstay his welcome and get kicked out after a few days. Sometimes I'd sneak him down here so he could crash in one of the bunks. He used one the night before I saw him last. How bad was his drinking? If it was just the drinking, it wouldn't have been bad. But Sam wasn't... Sam wasn't the monogamous type. He dabbled in everything. Booze, chips, drugs. He loved the nitro. Whatever he could get his hands on. Remember, nitro is one of the things actually we can use. Like, it gives you the temporary, like, boost to strength and... Like, strength and will, but lowers charisma and intelligence. Right. It wasn't al always like that, but once he got sick, he started using more and more stuff to try and forget about it. Sam was sick? Dying, didn't you know? Yeah, everybody could tell. You could just look at him and see he was a walking corpse. It had had to be the drinking. Then he disappeared <coughs> then he disappeared for a while, and one day he came back all better. Looked good even. Did he say how he got better? He said his mom helped him out. Never said how though. Thanks, Coyote. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to sort of, like, take you through my... I'm not going to tell you what happened, but I'm going to take you through, like, my thought process the first time I was playing and didn't know what was happening. Remember remember how the girl murdered at... Remember the girl murdered at the, uh... At the Stuffer Shack. She was, she was like... She had very yes. poor... She had very poor sight until she apparently got a... Uh, she apparently had some sort of medical procedure, and... And then she could see... Then she could see fine. And when, the, and when the Emerald City Ripper murdered her, he took her eyes. Sam was dying from his drinking abuse. And then suddenly he was a lot better. And when the Emerald City killed, murdered him, they took his liver. Right. So, I th you know, I don't know, at this point I didn't know what that meant, but I thought, well, it probably means something. Now I need you two to do something for me. What do you need, babe? I need you to talk to Mr. Delilah for me about the Royale run. He's usually upstairs. Tell him I didn't get the gems. Maybe I can take another run at it when I recover. I will. Actually, I believe I got the gems, so... Go me. What? First, remember, uh... New objective, investigate Sam's bunk. Optional, deliver the stones to Mr. Delilah. First, let's, uh, talk... Remember, we also had that optional objective of talking to all the... Let's talk to Mr. Delilah first. Maybe we'll get some money for those gems. Right. We can move freely between upstairs and down. Is it me or does this guy seem like too small for that too small for the coat he's wearing? Yeah. Like, like is it, like you I don't think he'd ever close. You, you know what I'm I, I'm betting that's maybe that's like that's actually like two kids with one standing on the other's shoulder so they can watch the stripper. <laughs> Sneak in here. Can't imagine it's hard to get fake IDs in the into the in the future. Let's see this, Mr. Delilah. Uh, that's that was always my favorite gag as a kid. Two kids standing on each other. <laughs> well, like in a giant coat. Yeah. Oh, let's see him. Oh, check out this bartender. It's like a huge bald she ogress or something. It's kind of blurry for me, but I was gonna say it looks like the Iron Sheik. <laughs> It's like, it's like, it's like Lady Chic. Lady Chic in a singlet. I don't want to know how she, I don't want to know how she makes people humble. <laughs> Same way the Chic does. Oh, no. Well, I don't really know metahuman physiology that well, so who knows. Alright, let's see, where's this Delilah fellow? Oh, there he is, in the, uh, the yellow, with, I mean, with the yellow... Oh, and Paco's talking. Oh, Paco's talking to him. Hmm. Let's take a look at our objectives. All right. 